LPAR2RRD is a tool for monitoring the performance of server infrastructure. For this video, we're going to use IBM Power Systems. The HMC Total section provides information about all resources managed by this HMC console. You can also see the data per CPU pool, per LPAR, overall number of LPARs, and details about HMC itself. All data is presented in separated graphs for last day, last week, last month, and last year to provide you information about changes in utilization very quickly. As you'll see, graphs are one of our most useful features. In all of our graphs, you can use the zoom feature to see more detailed information for a selected time period in order to better identify possible issues or bottlenecks. To see the graph in detail, just click on it. For another point of view, we can also regroup the data to display more metrics on one screen for a selected time period. If we use the zoom function, it will be used on all graphs on the same screen, a very useful feature in case you're seeking information regarding a specific time frame. All data below the graphs are sortable by clicking on the header in the table of each column. You can also use filter features by hovering the cursor between the header and the first data row. You can also click on the color square in the table to see detail for one particular entity. If you would like to go to a given section of a selected entity, just click on the name of the required item. For each frame, you can see performance data about overall CPU utilization, CPU pools, maximum peaks, and for all LPARs as well. The memory section provides information about memory, such as which part is used by hypervisor, the amount of memory allocated to the LPARs, and available memory. On additional tabs, you can see more detailed information about LPAR configuration. Our reporting features are described in greater detail in a separate video. In the historical reporting section, you can create ad hoc reports for further usage. Just select the required time frame up to the hour level. The level of detail provided is determined by the defined graph size. Then select items which should be on the report and proceed with the Generate Report button. The report provided can be downloaded as PDF or XLS as needed. The section view provides all metrics discussed up to now in a single view. From the frame level, we can switch to the CPU level and the LPAR level. For each single LPAR, you can see detailed information about CPU utilization and trends in utilization. If you have installed OS Agent, you can see additional information from systems, including CPU utilization from OS point of view, top CPU consuming processes over the last 30 minutes, memory utilization, paging statistics, throughput on LAN and SAN adapters, up to I.O. operations, and SAN response time. For each physical server, you can also see the utilization of adapters. For each adapter, you can see the LPAR where this adapter is assigned. For Ethernet adapters in section LAN, for fiber channel adapters in section SAN, and for SAS adapters in the section SAS. If you're using SRIOV adapters, you can see performance statistics for physical or logical port, including information about port assignment to LPARs. CPU Workload Estimator IBM Power Systems have their own performance benchmarks, RPERF and CPW. LPAR2 RRD is able to use these benchmarks, and as we've already collected performance statistics, it is simple to project existing workloads to another server, existing or new. In the left section, we can select the server or LPAR that we would like to migrate, and in the right section, we can choose the target system. When the report is generated, you can check if it fits for the selected workload or not. Simulations can be done for existing servers. This could be very useful before live partition migration. 
Resource Configuration Advisor. The Resource Configuration Advisor tool provides automatic verification of CPU memory and I.O. logical setup of all your LPARs and CPU pools based on historical utilization data. It can direct you to potential problems in configuration setup and advise you on changes to increase performance of the HW and logical partitions running there. The heat map feature shows actual utilization of all LPARs in the table where each partition has its own item and the color depends on its utilization over the previous hour. Section configuration provides detailed information about server configuration from basics like number of CPUs and so on up to the interfaces VSCSI and NPIV. You can even see detailed information about service processors. Let's summarize the advantages of this solution. First of all, LPAR2RRD is able to provide information on the frame level about CPU utilization, memory allocation, configuration, and for adapters based on HMC data no matter which OS is running on LPARs. This data can be used for reporting or alerting purposes or accessed directly by admins or other eligible users. And of course this data can be extended by more detailed insights from any OS running IBM power systems. For further details, you can check out other videos about specific features or additional platforms. Would you like to evaluate all of our features? You can practice using our apps at any time in our online demo. Would you like more information from our experts? Ask for a WebEx session.